In today's video, I will be completing the construction of our double-breasted short collar with coat video series. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Balaji and this is Regi School of Fashion. Consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't so that you won't miss any of my subsequent videos. With no further delay, let's get started. In the previous part of this video series, I showed you guys how to construct the short collar. Okay, so we have the short collar constructed as you can see, and we stop at the point where I went to join the front and the back necklines together. So, this is the back main fabrics, and this is the back lining. As you can see, what I have here this is the shoulder line, this is where the shoulder line stops. So the front and the back shoulder lines were joined together on this side. On the other side as well, I joined this together and the neckline falls at the center and I joined the necklines together. This is our collar. This is the back neckline. So we have the back neckline on the collar as well. So this is what I went to join together. The neckline I have on the short collar and the neckline I have on the back bodies. This has been joined together and I repeated the same process on the lining side. So here is the shoulder line. This is the shoulder line and this is the neckline. So guys, if you are here to watch the previous part plus the first three parts of this video series, kindly check the description area below for the link to the playlist. Now, after joining the front and the back together like so, the neckline and the shoulder lines, the next step is to hold the two necklines together. The necklines I have on the main fabric and the one I have on the lining. This to this. Okay, but I will not do this yet because I will have to finish the sides Purposely because this is a waistcoat, it's different from jacket. If I'm making a jacket, this is going to be my next step. But because this is a waistcoat, this is not going to be the next step. So I will be working on the armor area first, then later come back to this to join the two pieces together. So the next step now is to finish the armor area. Now you have to pay a closer attention here. This is the front panel and this is the back panel this is the main fabric for the front panel this is the main fabric for the back panel then what i have here this is the lining for the front panel and this is the lining for the back panel and because this is a waistcoat i have the front panel in two places So you need to understand this so that you don't get confused at any point. I have the front panels in two places. This is one, this is one. So this is the main fabric, this is the main fabric. This is the lining. What I have here is the facing, this is the lining. This is the facing, this is the lining. And what I have here, this and this facing each other like this are the back panels. The back panels and the lining for the back panels. Okay, so now in finishing the hampo, this is going to be the front fabric together with the front lining and the back main fabric together with the back lining. What do I mean by this? You can see that after joining the shoulder lines together, I have the armho joined together as well. Now I have it like a single armho. From this point to this point, is the front arm o and from this point to this edge is the back arm o so what i will be doing is this i will hold my fabric like so place this on each other automatically you can see that this is the lining side and this is the main fabric side 
this part is the lining for the front and this is the lining for the back and here is the armhole from this point to this point is the front armhole on the lining and from this point to this point is the back armhole for the back panel so i will just place the main fabric on the lining like so so automatically now i have the right side of the main fabric facing the right side of the lining back side to back side and the front side to front side so firstly i will be matching the shoulder lines i will make sure the shoulder lines align properly and i will open up my seam allowance and i will hold the two together then I will pin this together like this, this together like this. So now I have the back side pinned together and I will pin the front side together as well. Okay, so now I have one of the armholes pinned together. This is going to be in two places. So I will repeat the same process on the other side. So guys, now I have the two armholes pinned together. So the next step is to take this to my sewing machine and I will be stitching with half of an inch of seam allowance. From this edge, following the shape I have on the armhole and I will run the, st the stitches all through. Then on the other side, I will repeat the same process. After stitching, I will open it up and apply a top stitch. So guys, now I have the ammo area stitched as you can see. This is one and this is the other side. So after stitching, I applied a top stitch. As you can see, I have two seam lines on the ammo area. So after top stitching, then I turn this inside out and I gave it a press. So now I have this as the ham hole and the other side as well, I gave it a good press. Okay, now the ham hole has been constructed correctly. So the next step is to go back to the neckline area and stitch the seam allowance together. So I will need to turn this to the right side again. So I will pick the neckline I have on the lining and the one I have on the main fabric like so. Then I will hold the two together. So now I will pin the two seam allowances together. So that is the seam allowance I have on the lining and on the fabric. So after pinning, then I will be stitching this from this point. That is the neckline point here to the other side of the neckline. So when I'm stitching, I'm not going to stitch on the seam I have here already. I'm going to stitch about one over eight of an inch above this. It's not below, above. So I'm going to stitch from this point and I will stop on the other side. So guys, now I have the neckline area stitched together. That is the seam allowance I have on the fabric and the one I have on the lining. So after stitching this, then I will turn it to the right side. So because of the closing I did on the neckline area, this part is not going to be free as usual. So I will have to pull out all the fabrics. Okay, I've turned this side and I'll turn the other side as well. So after turning to the right side, I have this. Now, as you can see, the neckline has been joined together. Unlike before, where this is staying separately and the fabric one is staying separately. So, after joining the neckline together, the next step is to join the sides together. So, that is the same 
the side seam so and it's going to be front and back so this is the arm hole point for the front and this is the arm hole point for the back so i will open this up like so open this up as well then make the right side to face the right side you can see what i have so i will hold the edges together don't forget it's only the side seam i'm not joining the hemline yet i will make sure the arm hole points are lined together like so then lining side to lining side i will make sure the notch points are lined properly also okay then i will repeat the same process on the other side okay guys now that i have the two sides pinned together the next step is to take this to my sewing machine and i will be stitching with 0.75 of seam allowance i had it by the side i will stitch here from this side the hemline i have on the main fabric then i will stitch this along this side to the other side of the hemline which is the lining side so i will stitch this and stitch this after which i will be back to show you the next step so guys i'm back and the two sides have been joined together as i said and on the right side i have this this is the right side why this is the wrong side you can see the wrong side and the right side of my waistcoat is looking neat no seam allowance showing at all so this is a perfect construction so the last step is to hem the lower part so before hemming the lower part I will take this to my ironing board i will give it a press both the inside and the outside of the waistcoat so after giving it a press then i will trim off the hesses i have on the lining after trimming off the hesses then i will make the lining shorter by 1.5 inches than the main fabric so what do i mean by this after trimming the edges and i have the same measurement for both the lining and the fabric then i will measure 1.5 inches upward on the lining like so then i will trim it off okay so the importance of trimming this off making the lining shorter than the main fabric is to hide the lining inside the waistcoat the lining will not be showing under the waistcoat so that is the importance of making this shorter you can as well use one inch 1.5 inches is okay so guys now i have the lining shorter than the main fabrics as you can see i've trimmed this half about 1.5 inches so the next step is to hem the lower part in hemming the lower part i will be positioning this right side facing the right side the right side of the fabrics facing the right side of the lining So guys now i have the m line pinned together as you can see so the next step is to take this to my sewing machine and i will be stitching with half of an inch of seam allowance i had it so i will start stitching from this edge which is the front okay so when i get to the dart point here i will stop then i will come to the other side and i will stitch from the front along this side to the back when i have up to three inches opening at the center back then i will stop so after stitching i will use the opening i have at the center back to turn this to the right side after which i will take it to my ironing board i will give it a very good press then i will go back to my sewing machine and close the opening i have at the center back so guys here is the final look of our double breasted short collar waistcoat as you can see the right side of the waistcoat is looking neat here is the pocket and the inside is looking neat as well no seam allowance showing on the inside of the waistcoat so you can see the ammo area as well is looking neat and flat thanks so much guys for watching this video to the end don't forget to give this video a thumbs up drop your comments 
and also subscribe if you haven't let's meet in my next video when i will be dropping another valuable content from my wealth of knowledge till then always do remember there is no elevator to success you have to take the stairs